This is the book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 7. It says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Shalom, shalom, Israel. Before I start this lesson, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, I'm going to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach the truth and rule well. Peace and salutation to the whole elect that are scattered abroad. Okay. <clears throat> and, hey, man, we're just going to go into, you know, this quick testimony that I, that I have, man. While yesterday, while I was at um at work, okay, and the reason why I bring the scripture out, you're gonna see why, because yesterday I was at work, and um first a man's goings of the Lord, man, Proverbs 24 and 20, as is written, because you know I'm delivering, you know, delivering packages, and um I'm in the hood. I'm in Fletcher. If you know, if if you example, you know where Fletcher is at, man. You know, it's nothing but Jake, Northern Kingdom, Southern Kingdom, mingled all around. Okay. And um I over here, you know, it sounds like a party or whatever. And I hear people talking about, you know, giving out free food, free ice cream or whatever. So I just I just walked over there, you know, kind of curious. Give me an ice cream or whatever. <laughs> so I go over there, and it's and it's no coincidence. I see I see this guy boot game. This guy. They call him John Cabana. That's his name, his government name, John Cabana. All right, I had seen this guy yesterday, man. All right. And I'm over here, you know, telling the brothers, hey, man, I see I see this guy boom game. I see this guy boom game. Like, what the hell? This shit kind of crazy. And the whole event was about this fucking, uh, I guess it's called Crossover Church. They held an event in, in, in the hood, bro, giving out food and ice cream. And you know Jake, bro. Lock here. You know, Jake, bro, they only there for entertainment and gimmicks, bro. <laughs> if you're giving out food and, and dessert, that's what Jake come in there for. They're not coming for you to hear you talk. All right. So, you know, I call up one of the brothers. You know, brothers could, a hey, brother ball could contest, <laughs> can vouch, vouch for it. <laughs> I call the brother so he can see him, bro. I'm like, bro, look, I'm being dead ass. I see this guy right here, man. You know, and, um, hey, man, you, hey, Jake is just lost, bro, because he's wearing this, uh, this, let me see if I can, he's wearing this outfit that says, um, damn, I forgot what it says. You know, but hey, he believe in Jesus Christ, man. You know. Let me welcome everybody who just finding out about my journey that I've given my life to Jesus Christ. Secondly, IG don't pay me a dime to upload videos. If that, you know, and you know he's up there. Let me tell you what his outfit says, because because it was kind of funny. Um. It says, without Jesus, I suck. That's what his outfit says. Without Jesus, I suck. So I go up to him, you know, and uh, I don't mean to ramble too much, but <clears throat> I go up to him and I ask him, hey, man, you know, you know, you know about the Lord's name, Yahweh Shai? And he was like, he was like, nah, I never heard of that name. And then he was, he said some other name. He was like, he was like, Yeshua? Uh, then he was like, Yahweh was, like, he was like, he was trying to pronounce it, but he couldn't pronounce it. Like, he was saying a whole bunch of other names. And I told him again, like, three times. I told him three times. And then I just stopped telling him. 
I told him again, I was like, no, Yahweh Shai. You ever heard of that name? He was like, nah, nah. And so then he walked off, and then and then he came back to me. He was like, bro, hey, what's that name you just said again? I was like, Yahweh Shai. That's, that's the Lord's true name. That's the Lord's true name. Yahweh Shai. He was like, oh, damn, I never heard of that. And I was kind of surprised because, bro, like, come on, man. Like, you verify our Instagram, million followers, you know, hey, but he's stuck in the church. And he told me, he told me, this guy, he told me that he has to go ask his pastor. <laughs> he got to go ask his pastor. We'll show you that the church, the Lord not dwelling with the church. All right. But let's go to this. Romans 11 to 7 says, what then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for? But the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded, man. It was nothing but blind people out there, man. Jake, just lost, man, in the dead estate, bro. Out there, man. You got the pastor, you know, and, and people dancing and making rap music. Bro, you, you, bro, there was a guy up there, he was rapping, talking about, you, you from a church, but then you talking about drilling. <laughs> Like, pure confusion, bro. Then I asked the rapper, what was his name? His name, he said, my name is Cross. I'm like, oh, my gosh. You know, hey, but the pastor came up there, started talking about, uh, you know, trying to touch your heart. And he's like, oh, we're here for, we got the food and love out here, you know. I was just, you know, me and the brother on the phone, you know, he hearing all this, you know, he can vouch for it as well. You know, it's just pure, pure zombies out there, man. This is why Jake, Jake is, Jake love gimmicks. Jake love entertainment. Jake is very soddish when it comes to that. I'm going to um, get to the point where I was talking about the pastor, but after I was done talking to this guy, man, I'm just observing everything else, man. It just shows you that, hey, even, even this guy, John Cabana, who they call Boom Gang. All right, Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans have not obtained that which he's seeking for. Look, he want to change his life, right? He want to change his life. All right, he's in the, you know, Christianity and stuff like that. And I'm not going to lie, man. I seen, I, I looked him in his eyes, you know, hey, he seemed pretty humble. He, he seemed, you know, sincere. Like, you know, <clears throat> he's not, you know, I as you can say, used to be, you know, I never met the guy before, but this is my first time meeting him, you know, but I looked him in his eyes, man, he seemed, you know, he's like, he's very, uh, willing to learn, you know, willing to, like, open up, willing to, exp like, see new things, all right, to learn, you know, being, you know, our people are like sheep, they're docile, bro, you know, so, you know, you, you stir them the wrong way, they could be stuck in that way, man. But, hey, at the end of the day, the Lord is the one that controls all that, you know. But, hey, Lord willing, he could get it down the line, man. Who knows, you know. I can see the, you know, the brother, hey, he could change. Well, who knows, man. He could wake up tomorrow. He could wake up the next day, a week, week from now, you know, and. Think about that name I told him. You know, you never know. All right? And actually find out, hey, you know, he's an Israelite, et cetera, et cetera, which I'm pretty sure he already heard heard about that before. But this is Romans 11 and 7. One more time. It says, but then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded, which shows you that um, the Lord chooses us, man. This is John 15 and 16. And it says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye ask of my father in my name, he may give it to you. All right. And at the end of the day, man, hey, we're blessed to have this truth, man. All right. Out of all the Israelites on this earth, 
Jake in the world. And I'm looking around, man. I see a whole bunch of Jake, man. Southern and Northern Kingdom, you know, gathered around. And I'm just thinking about it like, wow. Look, out of all people, the Lord, you know, called us to, you know, to do his work and wake up other Jake of the elect at, at that, you know, to wake up the elect and, you know, to do his work, man. All right. And, you know, hey, man, you got to you got to show love to your people, man. At the end of the day, man, if they don't get it, they don't get it. But, you know, what I'm saying age <laughs> the lord is powerful bro how he does things you know i never i never thought i was gonna meet this man that was no thought in my mind that i thought he was gonna be in the hood you know talking or whatever okay let's see now we get to the pastor part the pastor come up you know start talking and talking then um me and the brother was talking on the phone, and then I just and I told him, man, I'm finna go talk to the pastor, you know, you know, just drive and talk to the pastor. So I'll go talk to the pastor, and I asked him, <laughs> what's the MOTB? Okay, I was like, first I asked him what what was his name, et cetera, et cetera. I asked him his nationality. I told me he was a, his father was a was a Greek, was from Greek. But he looked like an Israelite, bro. Well, I ain't going to lie. He looked like an Israelite, a foreigner. Um, you know, obviously, he has, you know, he has the long hair, you know, tied up, whatever. But you got to remember, even our people was in, was in Greek at that time. Because Apostle Paul, hey, his, hey, he was the apostle of the Gentiles. Our people was gathered, was, was scattered to the, to, uh, to, uh, Greece. You know, and following after their customs and et cetera like that, man. Um Yeah, so I was talking to I was talking to bro and um I asked him what was the M O T B. He was like, What M O T B? The one in Revelation? I'm like, Yeah. You know, and so he he was telling me about, you know, the M O T B, yeah, you're not gonna be able to buy or sell and et cetera, et cetera. So I asked him, So what is it? You know, this how you. This is how. This how you know, man. These Christians don't got the truth, man. You telling me the. You telling me the scripture. Yeah, I know the scripture. I know what it say. Why are you telling me the same scripture? Like I, I know what it say. I'm asking you, what is it? What is it? All right, you supposed to be the pastor. You supposed to be the head of the church, right? But you can't tell me what it is. What is it? All right. Let me let me read this real quick. This is Jeremiah twenty three and one. It says, "Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture," say if ye howl, because see the church is nothing but you know harlot houses. Let's actually grab this harlot house. No, hold on, that's not this one. Oh, harlot. I believe in Jeremiah. Let me see. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Bear with me one sec. see bear with me one quick second let's see if I can find it here if not I could just google it but until I find out, let's go back to Jeremiah 23. 
So that let's go with bed time by twenty-three. So Jeremiah 23 1 it says, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the howl. All right, and these really these people in these churches, man, they're not teaching you the truth. And they're not uncoding the prophecies. They're not they're not not one time in the whole thing this man told you anything about what's going on in the earth. You know, they think God is all love. Mind you, mind you. All them guys in the church, they all had a shirt. God is dope. God is dope. You know, and it's just, man, it's just like, what, 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 you know, these churches, man, what, what are their intentions, man? It's just, it's just money and, and people they could gather. Okay. It's people they could gather into one big, one big place and, and ask for their money, man. All right. Verse two, it says, therefore, it does say, if you howl, power of Israel. And it says, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith Yahweh. OK, see, but at the end of the day, the Lord is going to destroy all that shit, man. But see, hey, the, if the blind lead the blind, the bow shall fall into the ditch. Okay? The Lord is the one that wants to wake up. If he wants to wake up certain people, he's going to do that. If you want to show mercy to certain people, he's going to do that. That's not up to us. Okay? It's up to you. How about Shem Yahu Shai, man? All right. So I'm, while I'm talking to the pastor, I asked him what the MOTB is. All right, he told me about, you know, Revelation 13. Yeah, you're not going to be able to buy or sell. I see the things going digital. Um, You know, you see it. You kind of seen it going on with the C-19. And I asked him, are you, are, you, are you ready for that? Are you prepared for that? He was like, he was like, yeah. He was like, yeah, I'm ready for it. Um, he was like, yeah, I know God's going to, uh, it's like he's like, yeah, I know God's gonna look out for me, and um, whatever. And I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, bro, you th God gonna look out for you? Hold on, the scriptures say in Revelation three and ten, the whole world. Let's actually grab it in Revelation. This is what I was thinking about in my mind. Because in Revelation three and ten, it says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also would keep thee from the hour of temptation. He's talking about, you know, hey, man, the Lord could put you in that temptation, man. Not be able to eat and drink. You know, hey, see, see, pastors are not realistic, bro, because you're saying that now because you, you're you you're comfortable. The things are, are given to you. You know, you could go to the store and buy food, buy water, you know. But when things get chaotic, your family in your fucking ear, your wife in your ear, you hungry, all right, we going to see, okay? But he ended up asking me, oh, well, let me finish this. It says, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth, right? So he ended up asking me, so what do you think it is? And I ended up telling him, hey, it's the RFID microchip, okay, that they want to put in your in your body. To be able to buy or sell, you know, and you see these Christians, they don't know, bro, because why, if you're the pastor, why are you asking me? I'm asking you, you know, I'm asking you, you know, and then, then he talks about a rapture. He talks about a rapture, right? So I'm like, oh, oh, this guy with the rapture. Immediately, I think about Acts 14. And 22, so he goes to this scripture, 1 Thessalonians, um, the fourth chapter, and he jumps down all the way, First Thessalonians 4 and 13, and now you see the heading, 
It says those who died in Yahweh Shai. Okay. Those who died in Yahweh Shai. This guy talks about this is the rapture. And he said there's three uh he said there was three um um like three versions of it or whatever. But he was but I'm reading it in the King James, he over here reading the three different translations. He got the ESV and I'm like, bro, do you not read the King James? He's like, No, because you know the 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 Bible was written in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Latin. I'm like, what? All right. I mean, do you mean Hebrew, Greek, and Latin? It's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. And then I asked him, like, so what does the scripture mean? Because I'm reading it. I know what it means. Then I asked him, what does it mean? Then he's talking about, oh, this is when the Lord is going to, you know, beam us up and, you know, and, you know, we're going to be with him and, you know, being the new bodies and, I'm like, oh, so the second covenant, you know, and, you know, if you read this scripture, you know, this is talking about the Lord beaming up the ones that died in, died in Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, that died in Yahweh Shai first, they're going to be risen first. And so I told him, I'm like, okay, so, so he, if he thought this, so I brought him to Acts 14. I'm like, so, so then I asked him, so, so the, um, what I say? I said, so, so we don't have to go through tribulation first. So I made him read the scripture. I made him read this. I didn't read it. I made him read it. So I just brought it out. I just pulled it up on my phone and made him read it. And he read it. He says, confirming the souls of disciples and exhorting them. To continue in the faith, and that we must through, we must through much tribulation enter the kingdom of the Most High. So to ask him, hey, so don't we gotta go through tribulation first to get to the to get to you know the kingdom? You know, you the Rapture talks about you have to you you get beamed out before the tribulation. Ha ha, ha that don't make sense. So then he's like, oh well, I'm not here for debate not here for debate and stuff you know there's three different interpretations of it and i'm not you know i don't really go into that etc cetera, etc cetera. and that's when i knew I, I i got him i caught his ass i caught his ass in the trap because bro how are you gonna say a rapture but then i bring this scripture out there's no scripture that says rapture in the bible he was over here digging for it for like three four minutes I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. Because there's no scripture that says rapture, bro. Like, what the hell the Lord, that's that's not how the Lord is going to do that. We got to, everybody got to go through the tribulation. Even the elect. Okay? So we could prove ourselves. All right? And then he ended up saying, well, I'm going to go record. You know about Boom Gang, John Gabbana? Well, yeah, I'm going to go record him, man. You know? I was like, all right, well, have a good night. You know, and that's what happened, man. It just showed you that Jake lost, bro. Jake, Jake just love entertainment, and you know they just want money and fucking attention, bro. You know, there's no edification out there. Everybody's just dead in the states, dead zombies, and that Christianity mindset, man. That Christianity mindset is gonna get a lot of Jake fucking killed out here, man. It's going to get a lot of Jake killed out here. Believe it or not. Okay? Because they think that God is all love. It's all about love, love, love. No, man. The Lord killed. The Lord is going to be slain. The Lord said, the slain of, the slain of my sword are going to be many. All right? The Lord is going to be killing a lot of people. A lot of Jake. Two-thirds to be exact. In the land of America, man. If you're not getting right with him. All right? It just it just goes to show that, man, Jake don't got it, man. All right? Jake do not have it. Let's uh, close it out with this. Um, let's close it out with this.
let's get this Jeremiah 4 and 22 now it says for my people is foolish they have not known me right our people don't want to know the Lord man they just want to kick their feet up and chill all right eat food party okay it says they are sottish children they're stupid children man very hard-headed so they have none understanding they are wise to do evil but to do good they have no knowledge and this guy boom game after he bro they they praise this man's story like he had the fucking like transforming story ever like, bro, he goes up the stage and starts rapping. Like, what the fuck is going on, bro? You know, it's pure vanity and folly, bro. At the end of the day, man. The Lord is going to show you uh, who he's dealing with and who he's not. All right. There's going to be guys like, you know, like these celebrities, man. They're going to be caught out there pushing the uh, MOTB agenda, thinking they're doing it for Jesus Christ. <laughs> thinking they do it for Jesus Christ, boy, are you doing it for Satan, okay, because the elect is going to praise his holy name, holy name, name, one name, okay, <clears throat> hey, amen, so with that, you know, Lord wins us and been, been edifying, I'm going to give all, all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, 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 Ba'ashim,